Hey guys, Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and I just want to warn you ahead of time that this episode may be a trigger warning for some of you. And because today's topic is about why Moisnite is better than diamonds, and I'm going to give you four reasons why. But just to be fair, to make it to, to make sure that you guys know that this is not going to be biased, although we do cover a lot of lab diamonds and, and lab moissanite and other lab created gemstones here. Uh, the, uh, to, in order to be fair and not be biased, next the next episode, I promise you, I will also create another episode where I'm gonna go over four reasons why diamonds are better than moissanite, all right? So uh, if you've been following my channel for a long time, make sure you uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, obviously leave a comment below. <laughs> It definitely helps out the algorithm and it helps out our channel and it helps share our channel. Uh, but more importantly, it shows that you support us, okay? And uh, follow us on TikTok, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, as well as Instagram uh, for other fresh and beautiful content that we have here at Fire and Brilliance. And I'm gonna get right into it for you. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna break down four reasons as to why Moisnite is better than Diamond. And reason number one is that it is socially responsible. And you may ask yourself, what is socially responsible? What does that even mean? And how does that even correlate or what's the relationship between that and buying moissanite or diamonds or any other gemstone? What what's that have to do with being socially responsible? Am I socially responsible? Are you socially responsible? Now, let me go ahead and break that down for you, okay? So in today's world, when people are choosing a product or a, uh, a category of a product, many people are actually choosing the meaning behind it, uh, the uh, essence of what that product represents. Uh, and at the same time, Time, uh, they want to make sure that they're uh, purchasing something that they feel as if it's responsible for uh, themselves in terms of their own moral code. And what does that mean? So, number one, uh, many people are looking for a greener earth or something that a product that is eco friendly. Uh, and all that basically means is that if you're looking for a, an environmentally friendly product, uh, then typically you're trying to look for a product that may be uh, lower in emissions, for example, uh, so, such as a, a purchasing an EV versus a, a car that drives by gas, right? Uh, that, that is what that means. So in terms of Moissanite versus diamonds, uh, basically, the, uh, how does this product uh, or service positively or negatively affect the natural environment? Uh, well, obviously, if you are purchasing a natural diamond, you have to understand uh, that diamonds come from Mother Earth. So it will require mining, diamond mining. And what is diamond mining? Diamond mining requires heavy equipment and machinery uh, with high consumption of energy and fuel. Diamond mining is the physical and act of finding natural diamonds in nature. Um, there's actually a couple of ways to mine diamonds, but let me go over uh, the two of the most common ways. The first and most common uh, understanding of mining diamonds is called pipe mining. Uh, which is the open pit mining involves uh, the removing of layers of sand and rock. Uh, the ore in the pit is broken by blasting and is loaded to a, a primary ore crusher uh, where the diamond is extracted. Okay, so in other words, uh, they're blasting, uh, mining, digging, uh, finding the ore, and then really just crushing the ore uh, to basically extract the diamond from uh, the top layer of, of earth. So they're basically digging a big hole uh, into the ground. Um, and the second uh, uh, type of pipe mining is actually called underground mining, where the miners will tunnel through le two levels of the earth's crust, uh, and the funnels are connected uh, at both levels, right? So from the top and the bottom level. Uh, whereas the top level, what they're doing is they're, they're, they're finding the ore, they're, they're, uh, they're digging through and finding the ore, and they're, they're throwing that ore down into a funnel, Okay, and which is collected into the second funnel where the loaders are eventually collecting the ore before they extract the diamond. So again, what they're doing is they're creating two layers in, in, in underground in the mine, right? So the top layer will basically be the area where they're uh, digging through the ore, they're crushing the ore, and they're, they're uh, pouring that ore down into a funnel into the second layer, uh, which is the bottom layer of the mine. And that's where the, it's being collected, all the ore is being collected before the extraction process of the diamonds, which is uh, uh, you know, the mining process that you may not already know. So that's the two method of pipe mining. Uh, the other common method of mining is called uh, mining, marine mining, or mining in the ocean, right? 
which is actually quite common. Most people don't know this, but diamonds are found in the oceans as well. Uh, involves, uh, that involves the use of large-scale drills mounted to the ship to extract diamonds from the seabed deep uh, underwater. Uh, so basically these processes, um, obviously if you are a person that's trying to be socially responsible to be more eco-friendly, uh, to uh, be more environmentally friendly uh, and you want a greener earth for the future years, these processes create detrimental impacts on the environment including soiled erosion, uh, deforestation and the ecosystem destruction. So, um, you know, when when you are uh, uh, not leaving nature the way it's intended, if you're digging holes in the water, uh, in the ocean, if you're digging holes on the surface of, uh, of a piece of land, uh, obviously you are going to create some detrimental impact to the environment. Um, and again, those three things are soil erosion, deforestation, and ecosystem destruction. All right, so uh, so how does that compare to moisenite? Uh, if you uh, uh, you know are wondering, well, moisenite is a man-made gemstone. Moisenite is lab created. Moisenite is made above ground. Moisenite is uh, does not require the mining of Mother Earth, whether it's in the ocean or on land. It does not require deforestation. It does not require the uh, negative impact of the ecosystem where animals and other species will live in the in nature. So. Uh, because of that, uh, it is a better choice to the environment versus the natural diamond alternative. Now, moissanite is made in a lab, so therefore, uh, again, it does not require mining and it leaves nature the way it's supposed to be intended. The second uh, reason why people actually choose uh, to be more socially responsible is because it is conflict free. Uh, what is conflict free? Again, going back to social responsible, when people purchase a product these days, uh, sometimes they're not looking at the product just because it's a product. It's not just a ring. It's not just a car. It's not just uh, a, a pair of shoes. It's really a matter of where did the material from the ring come from? Uh, where did the material to build the car come from? Uh, what kind of impact is it creating into, in the world? Uh, where, what material is being used in the shoes? Uh, what product is being put in the food, right? So in terms of conflict-free, when it comes to the jewelry industry, uh, there's been a huge negative impact and a big stain in the jewelry industry when it comes to a, a title called Blood Diamonds. And what are Blood Diamonds? Well, the category of diamonds that uh, has been found uh, in past years where uh, diamonds, natural diamonds, have uh, funded war and bloodshed. It's the use of financing of conflicts such as warfare, trafficking, and drugs. And if you uh, have never seen the video where I actually went over in much more detail on this specific topic, then definitely click the, um, the card up above and it'll take you directly there. But uh, just to quickly go over it with you, basically blood diamonds per Wikipedia, uh, also called conflict diamonds, brown diamonds, hot diamonds, or red diamonds, are diamonds mined in a war zone and sold to finance an insurgency and invading army's war efforts or a warlord's activity. The term is used to highlight the negative consequences of the diamond trade in certain areas or to label the individual diamond as having came from such an area. Diamonds mined during the 20th to 21st century civil wars in Angola, Ivory Coast, Sierra Leone, just to name a few countries, um, are basically where the countries had civil war and they, they use these na natural diamonds as a source of financing. And that's the idea. So uh, if you're a person that does not want blood diamonds, knowing that the diamond that you're wearing on your finger or your necklace or your earrings or your bracelet or, or your pendant or anywhere uh, to know that it didn't come to finance, uh, obviously war, warshed, uh, war and bloodshed then that, if that's important to you, uh, then there is a reason why moissanite, a lab-created moissanite, uh, is much better than that of a diamond, especially if that is important to your uh, purchasing decision. So the second reason why moissanite uh, is better than diamond is because it is very budget friendly. Uh, what does it mean by that? It's basically more economical to purchase a moissanite versus a natural diamond. And what are the benefits when something is more economical and more budget friendly? At the end of the day, you're just basically saving more. You're, you're putting more money or you're leaving more money in your pocket as opposed to spending the money that you may or may not have. 
Because believe it or not, many people that actually go out and purchase a natural diamond for, for example, an engagement ring, they actually will go out of their way and put on their credit card. They will go out of their way and borrow money. Uh, borrow money that they do not have to put themselves in debt uh, just so that they could purchase a natural diamond, right? Uh, but if you are a person that is very conscious about your finances, if you're a person that's conscious about uh, your personal responsibilities, uh, then it's, uh, purchasing something that's a little more economical uh, may be very beneficial for you. And I'll give you a few reasons as to why that is the case. Uh, so if something is more economical, the price of a moissanite versus the price of a natural diamond is about 1 to 10, up to about 1 to 10, 20 times, depending on the cut color uh, clarity as well as the carat weight of the natural diamond. So imagine if you're to purchase the same exact stone, uh, which is a moissanite in terms of cut color, clarity, carat weight, and size and shape versus the natural diamond, and you're saving anywhere between 10 times to 20 times more, uh, then you're able to save a whole, a whole lot of money. So for example, if, if you're to purchase a $1,000 moissanite, as opposed to purchasing a ten to twenty thousand dollar moissanite, then you're saving yourself what anywhere between nine to nineteen thousand dollars, right? Uh, for that same stone, the only difference is one is a moissanite versus one is a diamond. Now, that savings from purchasing a moissanite versus a natural diamond, based on the example that I just told you, uh, you can basically go out and do other, uh, spend it on other important things in life. For example, uh, maybe going back to school, and if you've already gone to school, maybe paying off your student loans. Uh, and if you've already passed that stage in your life, maybe in, uh, purchase a home. And if you've already passed that stage in your life, then maybe use that to raise your family, or any other thing, or, or travel to experience something a little more, right? Uh, so many people that do purchase moissanite over time and they believe this is a, is very important to them because it's such so important that they use that money on other things that are more meaningful to their lives as opposed to just purchasing uh, a natural versus a lab created so uh, so being a budget friendly being budget conscious is an extremely important factor as to why people prefer moissanite over diamond and why they think moissanite is actually better than diamond at the same time if saving the money is not that important to you, having something more economical still makes sense, and I'll tell you why. Uh, because when you purchase a moissanite, for the same budget that as a diamond, you can actually get a lot more. Uh, so, for example, if you were to purchase, um, if you wanted a three carat moise, uh, a three carat stone, or four carat, or five carats, or six carats, or ten carats, right? Uh, you may be able to get a ten carat moissanite for the same price as a one carat diamond. Uh, so, if the budget is your budget, where you don't uh, care about saving the money, but you, you're willing to spend the money, uh, then you could really upgrade the size of the stone, the color, the cut, the clarity, the shape, uh, or whatever size you want, or maybe even the piece of jewelry that you're setting the stone on uh, because for the same budget you're able to get so much more bang for your buck as, a, as opposed to purchasing uh, the natural diamond. Again, you may be able to purchase a half a carat natural diamond uh, and, and as opposed to purchasing a half a carat natural diamond, you, sh you should be able or could be able to purchase potentially a three to five carat moissanite. And if that's something you want, uh, then uh, that might be better for you and therefore the moissanite is better than diamond in this case. And, at this, and, and last but not least, when something is more economical, it gives you more options, gives you more choices, even if it's in the same product, uh, such as a moissanite. So if you love moissanite, as opposed to going out to buying just one diamond, you, sh you can actually buy maybe four moissanites in four different shapes and sizes and colors. Uh, and you might be able to put that onto different rings and settings and pendants and necklaces as well. So, um, so for that one price of one natural diamond, you may be able to buy four to five different moissanite shapes and cuts and colors and sizes so you have more options to wear it right so uh, so why is it more important why is it important to for something that's more economical more budget friendly more uh, that's better for your wallet again it's because it gives you uh, number one more savings to spend on other important things in life Number two, it's because you can actually purchase a bigger size of a moissanite versus a natural diamond. Or number three, you can purchase more quantities of the uh, moissanite in different shapes, sizes, and colors as opposed to just purchasing one natural diamond at a much higher price, all right? So the third reason as to why moissanite is actually better than diamond is because of the physical attributes, what you can see, feel, touch, 
Okay, so uh, number one, it's a beautiful, beautiful gemstone. If you've never seen a Moissanite before, I suggest you go out and look uh, at for one. If you have a local jewelry store and you, and you know somebody that actually had one, definitely look at it uh, and be the judge for yourself. Uh, people wear it all the time. It's very commonly accepted. People wear it on rings, pendants, necklace, earrings, uh, what have you, bracelets. They wear it on everything. And at the same time, it's actually very, very hard. It's very durable. Second hardest next to only diamond. It measures on the Mohs scale between a nine and a quarter to a nine and a half so it's extremely durable okay uh, and at the same time it has a higher refractive index than that of diamond so in other words it's very sparkly it has more fire and brilliance than diamond uh, so if you take a diamond and a moissanite out into sunlight uh, you will notice that the moissanite will sparkle much much more because it has a high refractive index and all that basically means is there's more sparkles more bling uh, for uh, that piece of jewelry when it's worn with moissanite so the physical attributes are there uh, a moissanite versus a diamond it's, it's very very beautiful uh, it's gorgeous it's stunning and at the same time uh, it sparkles just as much as and at the same time uh, it's worn in all types of jewelry so um, so when you're comparing moissanite and diamond moissanite is better than diamond in those in that regards and then the fourth and final reason is a reason why many people that's been following moissanite for a long time prefer moissanite and believe that moissanite is better than diamond and the reason being is because it really comes from space right so what am i talking about how does moissanite come from space when it's lab created or man-made well obviously moissanite that you are wearing or, or purchasing in today's world uh, that is not in nature uh, is obviously lab created and man-made however the origins of moissanite is uh, a chemical compound called silicon carbide and basically the background of silicon carbide is that minerals is a mineral moissanite was discovered by a scientist named Henry Moisson, hence the name moissanite, uh, while he was examining rock samples from a media crater located in Canyon Diablo in Arizona in 1893. At first, he was mistaken to identify the crystals as diamonds, but in 1904, he identified the crystals as silicon carbide, which is a moissanite. So yes, this actual crater where a meteor landed many many years ago took with it moissanite or silicon carbide so yes moissanite does come from space so wouldn't it be cool to say that you're wearing a piece of the stars on your finger all right so what do you think about what i just said there if uh, do you agree do you disagree leave your comment below uh definitely let us know what you think let us know what your thoughts it's very important to us that we know what you think about the channel so that we can always constantly improve what we're doing here at fire and brilliance and that being said uh again as promised i will make another video the, the next episode on four reasons as to why diamonds are better than moissanite so that People in that category will, uh, you know, obviously be more educated in terms of uh, why diamonds are better than moissanite as well. Okay, so, uh, you know, here we try to be as unbiased as possible and we at the same time, because at the end of the day, there's no right or wrong answer, we, regardless if you love moissanite or if you love diamonds or if you love both. Uh, we're just a lover of all gemstones here and we just try to provide as much information as possible to everyone that's following our channel. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, shows that you support us. Uh, and at the same time, follow us on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, as well as Twitter. And I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.